Next speaker is Assembly of Armenians of Western Armenia, Armenak Aprahamian. Monsieur le Président. Chair, I'm Armenak Aprahamian, and I chair the National Council of Western Armenia, and we've been working with the UN in the area of indigenous rights since 2005. During Azerbaijan's last intervention, I noted that my people were deemed to be separatist, and so I'd like to go into what Azerbaijan has been doing. Azerbaijan's borders do not exist in international law and are based only on a political declaration of Alma-Ata in 1991. This is relevant. The region of Atsakh or Karabakh has never been part of Azerbaijan, as this has been an indigenous Armenian territory for thousands of years before the existence of the state today called Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan massacred indigenous Armenians in 1920 as part of successive massacres by Turkey. There were further massacres in 1988 and another massacre by Azerbaijan in Atsakh in 1992. Azerbaijan has been destroying our cemeteries, including a medieval one with 5,000 graves in December 2005. Azerbaijan also killed thousands of Armenians in 2020 before the entire world and militarily encircles Artsakh. Cultural and spiritual heritage has been destroyed since this war. And do you know why? Because Azerbaijan loves us and our territories. It considers us Azerbaijani citizens and would like us to be more obedient. That was the only true thing that was said in Azerbaijan's statement. The people under occupation in Atsakh do not want to live under the yoke of Azerbaijan and will not live under their yoke. I therefore officially invite Azerbaijan before the international indigenous community to recognize the right to self-determination of Armenians in Atsakh. Thank you.